guys! So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw a manga or anime eye. And the one on the left is colored with Copic markers and I'll leave the colors in the description down below. And yeah, I'll give you guys to myself from the past. As you can see, I've already mapped out the general area of the eye and these squares are going to be the eye. So what I like to do, and by the way, this is probably not how professionals do it, but oh well, I'm, I'm nowhere near that state. So basically I just start making um, the start of a curve, which is going to be the upper eyelid. And make sure that it's on both eyes because in anime eyes, always are very very symmetrical and then we're going to bring it down with um, a bit of a more slanted line at the end of the curve thing thing and then for the bottom eyelid you you can choose to make this as thick as thin as po in ah, as thick or as thin as you want it to be and for each character it really differs but for this character I'm going to make it pretty thick and make sure to do that for both the eyes and the last part of making the outside of the eyes is to make the inner corner and this is optional you don't have to do it this gives your characters more of a sassy look to it so if you're drawing like a cat girl or a cat boy for instance you might want to use this trick and now for the actual pupil eye, eye part of it. So you want to do a little, like there's an imaginary circle there. And do this on both of the eyes and make them on, how, how do I explain this? Make them on different sides of the eyes. So for example, don't put the circle here because it'll make them look cross-eyed and that does not look good or professional or whatever you want to say. So then you want to continue the edge of this down and now you have two options. One option you can just continue the circle without touching the bottom or you can connect the two like so. Now for this um, tutorial I'm just gonna not connect it see where that takes me. Now you have to do it for the other eye too. Now make sure these are as symmetrical as possible. This can actually be one of the most difficult steps, but I promise once you practice a lot it will come supernatural. And now you're going to draw the pupils. And they are in the center of the eye, unless they're looking off somewhere. You can do that too if you want. Okay, you got your pupils. And then you can decide whether or not you're shading with pencil or if you're going to color it. Now, I'm going to do one of these shaded with pencil and the other with Copic markers. And this step is... Well, actually, before I get to that, this step is if you're going to draw female characters it, or girly male characters, you can do that too. You just add eyelashes and focus on making them look really natural because that's one of the hardest steps, actually. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So now that you're done with that, we're going to do this eye with pencil. And so you want to make the pupil very, very dark because any normal human eye, that's the darkest part, right? And also the outside needs to be very dark. Now you're going to want to make the upper eyelid match this part of the pupil, so also make that darker if it's light like mine was. And so now you're going to make this, um, connecting them dark, but not as dark as they are. Just slightly, slightly lighter. And also make, um, 
these little inner corner things the same shade as here and now that you're done with that you can just barely shade the iris so that it just has a little bit of pop to it and um, this step you can do if your character has darker eyes you can shade down here a teeny bit just light very light and so now you can make the crease with the eyelid and you are done with the pencil version now to the Copic marker now for the colored version so again for the pupil and for the outer you want this to be the darkest shade of color that you have so just apply the Copic marker and if you don't have Copic markers like normal markers colored pencils all work perfectly fine because I know Copic markers are super expensive like they're crazy expensive and just make this the darkest area so now that you're done with that you're going to take your middle shade and color between them connecting and then you're going to take your lightest color and instead of leaving the iris almost with no color like we did here we're going to shade the whole iris and actually shade the whole eye too so now that you're done with that you can do two things if you want to make the iris darker, which I'm going to do, you can take the middle shade and just sort of dot the iris. Or you could take your colorless blender, which I'm not sure if this works that well, but you can all try it out and see how it works. And you can make it lighter too, and it'll just make a little white dot. And that looks really cool too. So then you're going to fix any mistakes because I made a lot of them, but I can do this after the tutorial. And then, um, since I did the eyelid on that, we'll just finish it off with an eyelid. And that's the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Comment, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want, and bye.